This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got someone shake with me. You are a registered dietitian and public health nutritionist with our Leeds, Grenville and Lanark District Health Unit. This is your first time here on FYI. Yes. Welcome. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You are newer to the, the health unit? I am newer to the health unit, yes. I've been in this in this position for about six months now. But you've been doing, yeah. you've been a dietitian for how long? I've uh, been a dietitian for about 10 years now. Excellent, yep. excellent. So you bring a lot of experience to, yeah. with, to the table. I try. To our, <laughs> yes, to our health unit. We're going to talk today about uh, the nutritious food basket and food insecurities. Mm -hmm. So, or food securities, I should say. Uh, you know, at this time of year, Christmas, mm -hmm. we, we talk about, you know, donating food, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But this is something that happens all year round. Mm -hmm all year round. Yeah, so absolutely. What is the nutritious food basket costing? What is that? Yeah, so the nutritious food basket costing is it's a project that basically the health unit does every year. So we've been doing this since 1998 basically. So we didn't do it in 2020 and 2021 because of the pandemic. Um, but basically what it is is we look at the cost of a variety of nutritious foods, you know, across several grocery stores in Leeds, Grenville and Lanark. And uh, we do it to determine basically the average cost of eating a balanced diet uh, for those who live in the tri-county area. Okay, so what is included in the costing? So we basically look at uh, foods that would be included in the Canada's Food Guide. So uh, you know, a variety of canned, frozen and fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grain foods and protein foods. So you know, basically anything that a healthy diet should include. All right, so what are we looking to find in these results? Well, we're basically looking uh, to find out how well people in our area can afford to eat healthy food. Um, and the results of this of the project do show that uh, individuals and households that live in food insecurity in our area, they struggle to buy enough nutritious foods after paying for you know rent and bills and other living expenses. And that's the key word too is nutritious. I yes, mean, you're, you've only got a, a, you know a limited amount of money at the end of the month. Exactly. You don't tend to buy things that are good for exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So what is food security then? Uh, well, food security, so th the basic definition of food insecurity, uh, household and individual food insecurity, basically just means not having enough money to buy healthy food. And really the crux of it is it's not, it's not a food issue so much, it's an income issue. Um, because, and if you think about it, it makes sense, right? If there's less money, uh, when money is tight, there's less money in the budget for, for food, right? So then you may not make the, the healthiest choices possible when, uh, when you don't have another option. And, and I mean, at the end of the month too, you, you have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy food or am I going to pay my bills? Yeah, it's, yeah. An, it's an unfortunate reality for a lot of people. It is. Having it really to choose is. between different And it's amazing how many things. people do, th that is their reality. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So what are the findings from the nutritious food basket costing for this year? Um, so we uh, we actually so when we did the project we did several scenarios um, so uh, all the results are actually posted on our website on um, there's a in an infographic it's called the food insecurity infographic so you can go to healthunit.org to check it out in more detail um, but I'll give you an example so I have an example scenario prepared so um, so if we're if we've got a hypothetical family of four basically so we've got two adults one female and one male and we've got two kids, again, a male and a female. So for this family of four, the average cost of, uh, of a nutritious food basket is around $1,109, so a month, mm -hmm. right? And so around $1,110 a month or so. Um, so if we were to say that this hypothetical family was living on Ontario Works, um, their monthly income would be around $2,760, so close to, close to $2,800 or so. Um, and if we take rent out of that, that total, right, so average rent in Leeds, Grenville, Lanark is $1,560. So, you know, between $1,500 and, uh, sorry, $1,500 and $1,600 or so uh, in Leeds, Grenville, and Lanark. So if we take that out, um, that family of four is left with around $1,200 a month or we so. for nothing else yet. Yeah. Yeah, and that's before accounting for the cost of food, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So if they take the cost of food out of that, again, the $1,110, they're basically only left with around $90 a month 
for everything else, right? So that's the basic necessity. So things like hydro, transportation, insurance, um, toiletries, household supplies, you know, childcare, uh, basic uh, minimal recreation and entertainment, um, all those necessities that are, that are important. Absolutely, and I mean, you, you use the example of people being on uh, Ontario Works too. Uh, it's hard for somebody just uh, even if they're making minimum wage and mm -hmm. they're they're out there working and they're trying to make a living. It's, yes. it's very difficult. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So that doesn't leave enough money. No, <laughs> to, to cover the expenses you listed. No. What can be done to change this? Um, so there are a few possible solutions that can be done, kind of more on a population-based level. Um, so things like supporting and expanding tax filing initiatives for low-income households and individuals, um, you know, ensuring safe and uh, affordable access to, um, to housing, uh, childcare, education, transportation as well, um, encouraging local businesses and agencies to become living wage employers, uh, and also ensuring social assistance rates cover for the basic cost of living. Um, so, and it's important to recognize that um, while one of these solutions by themselves may not be enough to eliminate poverty, together they can make a difference. Absolutely. So what are the health, effect of, uh, health effects of not uh, being able to afford food? Uh, so the health effects of, of not being able to afford uh, enough food or enough nutritious foods would be, you know, lead to things like deficiencies in vitamins and minerals and the food energy, which are, you know, those are all the things that we need to maintain overall mental and physical health, right? Um, and good nutrition also plays a really important role in healthy pregnancies and birth outcomes and in healthy growth and development in childhood and then later in life too, so that it decreases the risk of chronic diseases later in life as well. Absolutely, yeah. 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 So the holiday season is coming and often people uh, want to deviate uh, food um, to, to I'm, I can't even understand my writing here. Mm -hmm. uh, the holiday season is coming, so often people want to, to donate food. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry I can't remember <laughs> writing. Donate food to <laughs> those unable to afford it. What should we do? Um, so, uh, yes, there is always an immediate need for food banks, um, and mm -hmm. supporting food banks is always a good idea, no matter what time of the year. Um, uh, so it's always a good idea to donate uh, safe and healthy food when you are donating to food banks. Um, so we have a resource on our website, uh, again, healthunit.org. Uh, it's called Donating Safe and Healthy Food, so anybody who wants to learn more is, is welcome to, to go ahead and read that. Um, uh, but again, so food banks are, are a great solution, but they are a long-term solution. So it's basically putting a Band-Aid over the problem, right? The problem uh, requires, it, it, the, the longer-term solutions to the problem, it really requires those critical conversations with family and friends and communities and, uh, you know, policymakers um, to really get at the root of food insecurity, which again is, is that the poverty and the income piece. So that's cool. right. That's right. And I, I mean, the bottom <coughs> line too is like you don't have to struggle. You can reach out to somebody at the health unit. You can reach out to yes. the food bank. There's so many people that are out there to help you. Yes. Friends, family. Yes. Uh, you don't have to do this alone. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. 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 Support we've, is available. We've had uh, people here from the food bank to talk about you know uh, being um, having food bank uh, available to people. Mm -hmm. We've had people, uh, churches or legions, who make lunches for uh, people. And, and uh, th those are free. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a story that I just learned of in the last month or so was the Legion. They were saying that people show up to get the lunches just for their children too. Because right. we're talking about children here too. Right. We're not just talking about adults. It's yeah. Children that are affected by this. Yeah. 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 And just to throw in a little plug as well for. Um, uh, so I don't know if people are familiar, but foodcorelgl.ca has a resource. Uh, it's uh, their meal calendars, basically, that, uh, that are uploaded once every quarter. And uh, it's a list of um, all the meals that are available in the Tri-County tri area that are either low cost or free meals for anybody who needs them. So it's a great resource absolutely, as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah. everybody deserves a nutritious meal. Absolutely. To start their day and to end their day for sure. For absolutely. Sure, for sure. And unfortunately, because of food insecurities, people tend to buy a lot of just the cheaper food. They end up eating a lot of breads and carbs, that sort of thing, instead of mm -hmm. getting fruits and vegetables into them. So Right. Yeah, there is help out there. So. Yep. How do people get a hold of you? Um, so you can reach us uh, at the health unit. Um, so our number is 
1-800-660-5858. Oh, I can't remember the number. <laughs> it's on your website. It's, it's on, on our website, website for sorry. Sure, for, sure. Um, for sure. And you're located where in here in Smith Falls? Uh, at, uh, so <coughs> we're located at 25 Johnson Street in Smith Falls. And it's right across from right the hospital. Right across from the hospital. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. First time Thank here, you. but you'll be back. Thank I've you. got uh, Summon Shake with, here with me, and you are... I'm going to get this. You are a registered dietitian and a public health nutritionist with our Leeds, Grenville, and Lanark District Health Unit. Yes. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>